chain dimensioning. Chain dimensioning uh, is the industry name. AutoCAD's name for that is called continued dimensioning. So if I come up into my annotate tab, into my dimensions, and I hit the down arrow, you're going to see that AutoCAD calls it continued dimensions. Now over here I have my two overall dimensions. I'm going to put in a linear dimension and I can use both the dimension command and um, I can use my continued dimension. So I'm going to start with a linear command first and I'm going to put one of those in right there. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hit enter for the space bar and I'll get started here. Now, once I have the first uh, item in the chain, I go up to the continued dimension and it'll ask me this. Um, in this case, it's grabbing on to the last dimension I did. So if I wanted to go to this one, it's fine. But if I wanted to go to the top one, I have to use select, which is hit enter. So I hit enter, and then it says now select the continued dimension. I'm going to pick on this continued dimension, and now it'll allow me to come down and pick on the endpoint, and I'll hit enter. Now you can see that it didn't do a very good job. So I'm going to pick that and slide that over. Just pick right on the text number and move it over and hit escape. Those are called grips. That blue grip there. That will allow you to move it and pretty it up. So you can kind of see that eh, that doesn't always do the best job. And it's got a little problems here and there. The actual command, the dim command, does much better. That's much um, user friendly, has more functions, um, has a little bit more uh, automation to it. So I'm going to pick the dim command and then I'm going to come down to continue and then it says specify the first extension line to continue. I'm going to pick on this extension line right here and then I'm going to come up and pick on this endpoint and I'm going to hit enter the escape and it did a great job of lining those up automatically for me. Now, typically we don't always put on the next ones in here, but I'm going to here. I'm going to go up to Dimension, and I'm going to go down to Continue, and uh, I'm going to pick on the extension line, which is this right here, and I'm going to come over here and pick on that. And I'm going to hit Escape. Now what I would typically do if I'm adding in all the dimensions, in mechanical, I would actually double click on it and I'll pull this out and I would type in after the item ref ref period for reference and you can see that that's for reference. Now in architectural we put all the values in. So an example that would be over here. So here I have an example of a mechanical with some reference ones in it. But typically mechanical we just leave them out and let them do the simple math. So I would just take that one out of there and delete that out of there. So this is chain dimensioning. right? I would recommend that you use the dimension command. It does a better job of having more functions in the uh, the animation is a lot better and I have a lot less cleanup like I have over here that I need to do. So uh, this is called chain dimensioning. AutoCAD's term for chain dimensioning is continued dimensioning.